Today on Deeper Living, prepare to be blessed by the angelic voice that has literally come clear across the world to grace us here in the United States. International music sensation, Indian producer and singer-songwriter from India, Christina Paul, and she's making her debut here in the United States, and it's stunning. So stay with us as she shares her testimony, her passion, and her heart right here on Deeper Living. From coast to coast across North America, this is Deeper Living, bringing the inspirational marketplace to your front door. We exist to bring you the latest and greatest from authors, artists, and artisans around the world. You're going to love this. Hello and welcome to Deeper Living. Today we have a special treat, a beautiful, beautiful woman all the way from India, Christina Paul, who now resides here in the United States, and she has her debut album. Christina, thank you so much for coming on our program today. This album that you're launching in the US, Surrender, is by no means your first album. As I said in the intro, internationally and definitely in your, your home country of India, mm -hmm. you're a celebrity. <laughs> so, and this is, I think, just your story and the passion and just getting mm -hmm. to know you. It's an, it's an amazing story, and I think one that's going to speak to a lot of women today, mm -hmm. and really just how you balance your mother, you're a, a, you know, a writer, mm -hmm. you sing this song, you have your ministry, and you have a full-time job yeah. <laughs> as a software yeah. engineer, yes. and all of this is sort of converging at, you know, at once right now, mm -hmm. but I want you to share your, just your journey from mm -hmm. really from India and, and sort right. of a testimony of your background. Yeah. To, to here. How did you mm -hmm. get here over in the United States? Yes. Um, I was born in India, born and raised in India in a small town called Tanjore. It's mm -hmm. in the southern part of India. As you know, 3% of Indian population are Christians. Right. And my family has been Christians for seven generations now. And my great-great-grandfather, and um, he had 13 children, and he was a Hindu. Wow. And I was going to say 13. 13. But, you know, you say 3%, uh -huh. but that's... Yeah, it's amazing. Three percent. If it's, you think about the Indian population, it's a billion. It's huge. So three million Christians are there. Right. And probably it's, more uh, right now. You know, I'm I'm not very current in the percentage of Christians right. But right to there. go back that but, far mm -hmm. in the generations, now you yes. can start to see with the internet and people really having access. Right. But back yeah. when your family, mm -hmm. you know, when your was it your great 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 grandfather? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, he was a Hindu, and he had thirteen children and a serious uh, sickness um, mm -hmm. have struck the family and he lost 11 of his children. Oh. And he was so devastated and mm -hmm. uh, when he was so vulnerable, there was a European missionary who was ministering to him mm. at that uh, you know, uh, time of his life. Right. And then he said basically, okay, I'm going to accept Jesus, whoever you're talking about. Right. If he's gonna save the last two of my children that are left over. So, mm -hmm. um, so basically, God reached out to him and healed mm -hmm. his two children, and he gave his heart to Jesus, and that's how he became a Christian. And starting from him, you know, mm -hmm. the following generations have been Christians, right. and uh, thank God, and well, so blessed. And it, it's so amazing. It's almost like the Job moment, you know, yeah. when really you get right. tested, and we always get tested with our kids, yeah. and yeah. you know, and, and that's something that. I think the legacy that that mm -hmm. birthed really right. has carried on. Yeah. And we were sharing a little bit before the show and mm -hmm. you were saying how, you know, following in the roots of your heritage, mm -hmm. even music has been yes. handed down almost right. from generation. And yes. tell us a little bit about your grandmother because she really has right. the honor and distinction. Yeah, my great grandmother, um, she was so knowledgeable in music, Western mm -hmm. music, not just Indian music. And right. she's a beautiful veena player, okay. which is an Indian instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, but she got really into the Western music of playing piano, and uh, right. she joined the Trinity College of Music London. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, was, she got an a award from the governor of India uh, that she's the first Indian woman to pass higher local exams in piano. So as you can see, like my, mm -hmm. my grandfather um, he is he's, he's, he's a music legend, and right. he has done a lot of researches in music, mm -hmm. and he has uh, written a lot of books, and he has got an award from 
the chief minister of India wow. um, as uh, Kalai Mamani. So the, basically that's an award given to okay. somebody who has uh, achieved something in uh, fine arts music. Right. So. And sort of, is that sort of like the, like a lifetime achievement? Like, yes, uh, exactly. Like, okay. Right. All right. right. Tip you're right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So your heritage is really, yeah. and your legacy in music right. is just continues to yeah. be handed down. And yet, I think with you, it's actually now it's, right. it's gone beyond yes. India, and it really is coming over here mm -hmm. and internationally because mm -hmm. it's really starting right. to, you know, I think you're going to be sort of that next generation yes. to really go right. beyond and how a missionary came to your great grandfather. Now your music's mm -hmm. going to be ministering right. here in the United States. Yeah. And share a little bit about how all of this has really culminated into your latest CD, Surrender. Right. My parents have, um, you know, I have to say, I get everything from my parents because mm -hmm. they are Christian recording artists. Right. I toured with them throughout India okay. when I was a kid. So I had this music background. Right, and you had and first hand exactly, knowledge of. Exactly. And I had this infrastructure already set up for me in India. Mm -hmm. And um, so I made six Indian albums, I released them. and. Uh, they were there, and my dad is a great musician. My mom right. is a songwriter, and she sings beautifully too. Oh. So it, it, I had all this, and then when I when I got married and came over to the United States, I um, you know I got encouragement uh, from my parents as well as from my husband right. to continue to do what I was doing in India. Right, you and know, I, to sing for the glory I know, of God. And I don't, I don't want to. We have to take a short break, but I okay. wanted you to talk about that because your marriage is another sure. story as well, and how yes. this has all come to together. Mm -hmm. So stay with us as we take this short break right here on Deeper Living. Welcome back to Deeper Living. If you're just joining us, we're visiting with Christina Paul and her latest CD, actually her U.S. debut CD, Surrender. And Christina, in our first segment, really sharing with our viewers and getting to know you, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times, you know, here in the United States, we're not always exposed to music in other countries. You know, we just kind of, right. we're not always aware of that. And launching in here, Literally back home in India, your family, we were talking about the legacy and, and the mantle of music that's almost been passed down in generation. Right. And you were talking about your mom and dad and mm -hmm. traveling and touring with them. Yeah. And your father is classically trained yeah. and your mother. And mm -hmm. how has their influence now sort of played that role in your life beyond just, you know, the obvious of picking yeah. all of that up and being right. surrounded by this? Right. Uh, my dad, um, he's a great composer. And uh, he, I, I sit with him whenever he composes the songs. Mm -hmm. So I, know, you know, then I got the interest about you know writing songs on right. my own because my mom is a songwriter. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
my dad, I don't know what I'm talking. Okay. Um, actually, my grandmother taught me to p play the piano, mm -hmm. and uh, my father, um, you know, he encouraged me when I was uh, right. four years old. Ever since when I was four years old, I, I, I'm singing with them right. and touring with them. And uh, well, just I would think so, kind of bringing uh, out that gifting in you, and just I, I think almost by you know children when you're around that creativity, right. it's almost osmosis, and you just kind of absorb all right. of it. Yeah. And you probably didn't even realize how that was going to play a role. But let's talk about some of the songs because you were saying, like you said, your father mm -hmm. classically trained, and when you said Western, it's right. the classics, it's more yes. of the European, exactly. Um, you know, classics that come out, right. and he actually composed one of the songs on your CD. Mm -hmm. And that's the final song. And what, that's, now, what was sort of the what was behind that? The inspiration of that song. Um, I just have that song in the CD just to honor my father. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's totally out of place because it's a contemporary album, right. and you have a classical piece. That's why we have that as a closure of the album. Yeah. So, but I just wanted to honor my father, and uh, right, right. yeah, he he's too, very much into the classical music, and mm -hmm. uh, he plays a very good classical piano, and he's a classical pianist. That's wonderful. Yeah. And now uh, you've said you've sang duets with your mom and your dad. Yes, and, I do. I do that a lot actually. Yeah, that, see, I think that is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think that is such a neat testimony right. plus family. Now, are they still in India or are they here in the United States? They, they are in India. They okay. visited us just like a few months ago. Okay, yeah. so you, yeah, and yeah. you guys, I'm sure they're Going kind of following your progress. Yeah. Now, what did they think about you launching a CD here um, in the U.S.? They were absolutely thrilled and they were so happy. They were thanking God mm -hmm. and uh, they watched it all, you know. Right. I I, I wrote a song and then I call my dad and I say, you want to listen to this? And, yeah. uh, you know, I sing to him and they were really good encouragers throughout the process because this right. is my soul, my own project. I mean, right. I haven't written songs before. Right. In my previous Indian albums, it's all my mom and moms and dads. Right. You know, this is your so, grown-up yeah. project. Exactly. This is your, yeah, right. sort of cutting those ties exactly. with mom and dad and really kind yeah. of using, God now using yes. your own words mm -hmm. to say what he wants to say. Now, with the title Surrender, some of the songs you were talking about, one song really came from the inspiration of something that you were going through with right. your daughter. So why yes. don't you share sort of how, you know, as a songwriter, I always, I love to listen to lyrics because I think right. you really do pour out yes. what you're going through and how yeah. you're dealing with that. But share a little bit about what, you know, that song and the title of that song and what was mm -hmm. going on at, at that okay. point. Lay It Down is, uh, I, I just wrote that song just for, uh, to be an encouragement for other people, mm -hmm. you know, when they um, have very difficult times in their lives, right. you know, they need to know where to fall back. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to lean back on God. And uh, this song is written mm -hmm. because I went through a terrible situation with my daughter uh, right. because she was sick when she was four months old. She was diagnosed with neutropenia. That's a blood disorder. Mm -hmm. Long story short, the doctors lost hope. And they said the final thing that we can try on her is the bone marrow transplant. You know, I yeah. kept wrestling with God. You know, God is very powerful than what right. we think he is capable of. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. um, I was wrestling with God. God, you gave me this child. Give her back yeah, to why me. Are you, yeah, Give why, her back to me. What good is this situation? What right. am I going to get out of this? What's right. going on? And there is power when mm -hmm. we pray, when God's people Absolutely. pray. So I just kept on bringing back the promises that God has for mm -hmm. us in the Bible and kept praying to him, God, give me this child back. Right. I want her back. Mm -hmm. And you are the healer. With your stripes, right. we are healed. Right. It's, it says in the Bible. So lay it down is basically, you know, I just an encouragement for everybody out there who might be going through very difficult times in their lives. Right, and really dealing with mm -hmm. situations that... And it talks about the power of prayer. Right. You know, when you stay on your knees, you can... Um, you know, God can do anything for you. Absolutely, so. absolutely. And, and you know, and looking at the title of Surrender, you're mm -hmm. pulling it from all different facets of your life, but at the yes. end, it really, that common denominator really is surrender. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I want to talk about this a little bit more. And also, in the next segment, I think we're going to have your husband on as well oh, and really okay. talk <laughs> about sort of the influence right. of your marriage and, yes. and this new, new season in your life mm -hmm. with this and launching over right. here. So stay with us right here on Deeper Living.
back to Deeper Living. If you're just joining us, we're visiting with Christina Paul, Indian artist, sing, singer, songwriter, and her debut launch in the U.S., Christina Paul, Surrender. And this is just a fantastic CD. If you go to our Deeper Living website, you'll see a link on there to Deeper Shopping, and you will be able to purchase this on the Deeper Shopping website and find out more about Christina and her amazing story and testimony. And, and Christina, earlier before the break, we were really talking about mm -hmm. your, the culture and, and the history and your family and traveling and touring. This segment, we're joined by your husband, Paul. Hello. Thank you for stepping in as well. Thanks for we having us. We sort of pulled you in on this. <laughs> but I wanted to bring you in, and, and I'm sorry if it was sort of unexpected, because, again, sort of how your culture has mm -hmm. really shaped who you are and really this right. next season in your life and growing and maturing and kind of separating from your parents. But along with that, you guys had an arranged marriage, which mm -hmm. is very traditional in right. India. Right. And both of you came from Christian families. But I want you to share how that dynamic, share, I mean, because that is just, right. for most of us, you know, here in the United States and, you know, in Western cultures, the arranged marriage went out, I mean, we never really had it. I mean, it, right. in terms of the benefit and here in the United States, it's something that it's really hard for us to get our head around. Yeah. And being Christians, you think, oh, well, why didn't your parents just, why, why would they still hold on to that tradition? So tell us a little bit about how all this came together and really how it's kind of affected your lives. Um, there was a family uh, that knew both Paul's family and our family. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as I told you earlier, my parents have brought me up in a very, a conservative way right. of uh, bringing me up. You know, I went to girls' school, girls' college, and no dating boys right, right. and that kind of a thing. Um, and then when I got into, uh, when I finished my master's, that's when, uh, you know, my parents were started looking for a guy for me. And uh, right. and first they, this family that I told you about, they shared pictures of him mm -hmm. with us in the same way pictures of me with uh, his family mm -hmm. so <laughs> so the first the parents you know right. try to find out uh, how the family is right, so th right. they are very particular about how the family is uh, you know mm -hmm. whether they are good christians and right. whether they are you know actively involved in church right. and stuff like that so now, did your parents call his parents i mean how does this all start they to... did not talk with each other okay. in the beginning it was all through the the middle person okay. yeah who was helping us you know both ways right so um yeah, first uh, we got the pictures and the parents inquired about the family mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, other friends and families. Right. You know? Well, absolutely. And this yeah. is their daughter. I mean, he's from a hometown called Madurai and okay. uh, there we had a lot of friends in Madurai. So, okay. you know, that go to the same church as Paul's parents go. So right. they kind of inquired with them about his mm -hmm. family and uh, the same way with them. And right. his grandmother even wrote a letter to oh. one of the girls who studied in my college asking how Christina was. Was she yeah. <laughs> going what to do when no one's looking? Yeah, what is she really like? That was funny. But it's, you know, and it's yes. like, yeah, now we just do like background checks on right. the internet. You yeah. Google someone. But, you know, but that's so fascinating because you were saying how at the break, your mom really taught you to pray mm -hmm. at 13 and really yes. learn how to petition God and yeah. just say, yeah. here it is. You find the right soulmate for mm -hmm. me. Yes. And, you know, and I think what's so neat about that is, on the one hand, you think, oh, arranged marriage. On the other, you went all the way through your master's. You didn't yeah. really have to worry about the entanglements of a relationship. Mm -hmm. sort of, yeah. In the back of your mind, you've already given that over to the Lord. Yes. And also in trusting the judgment of your parents. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, how, how is it for men over there? Because I know daughters are treated, you know, it's a little bit different. But how is it from a, a man's perspective? You're a young man. You're trying to be independent. It's a whole different mindset for you. What's it like to all of a sudden, you know, you're getting hitting the marriage age, and how do you determine, what, okay, what girl, how is this all gonna work? For me, I, I, I was praying since um, probably I would say 18 years old for the right partner. Mm -hmm. And um, when I saw her, I prayed to God and God gave me the peace, you know. Obviously, the physical attraction was there. Right. You're like, oh, yeah, she's kind of hot. That, that was there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I prayed about it Beautiful. and uh, got the peace of God on me. Yeah. So I knew that um, right away that this is the girl for me. Right. And just told my parents, okay, let's go with it. All right. And you guys said you guys <laughs> talked, just for spoke, an hour. visited for an hour on the phone, and that was that? It, it was uh, face to face. 
You know, oh. he flew, he was in, working in Nashville, okay. Tennessee, and he flew to India just to see me. First, we liked the pictures, and right. then we said, okay, mom, you know, you can go to the next step, you know, whatever you do. Yeah. And then um, we let Paul's family know, and Paul's family let our family know right. that we liked the pictures, and then the next step was for him to come to India to see right. me. Right. So then he flew to India, and he came to my hometown to see me, and that's when we spoke for an hour. Right. And uh, that yeah, and, and all our relatives and our friends and family, they were sitting at a table next to us and staring at us when right. we were talking. So we we didn't really have any... Yeah, Reese, you're, all, you're under the microscope there. It's like <laughs> every, the, every watching. side's watching to see what she's going to say, what you're going to say. That, that is amazing to me. We actually have to... I, I want to hear yeah. more of this story, but yeah. we have to jump to a short mm -hmm. break. But when we come back, I want to talk about how all this now, your your journey here in the United States right. and, you know, how this is impacting you guys in this next season. <laughs> so stay with us right here on Deeper Living. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Deeper Living. We're in our final segment with Christina Paul and her husband, Paul. And it is so wonderful to have you here. And, and we were talking about the arranged marriage and and just, you know, the cultural influence and differences. You both are now over here in the United States. Mm -hmm. You're in Nashville. Right. And, you know, with this, your CD is getting ready literally to launch. It's going to hit the market in a few few days, a few mm -hmm. weeks here. How, how do you think that's going to change uh, your lives? How do you think that's going to impact you guys as a couple? And I mean, this is this ministry is what I wanted to do. Um, you know, f from from when I was a kid, and my husband has been encouraging me uh, ever since mm -hmm. we got married and moved over here right. to launch a record. And right. uh, so, but I started writing my own songs, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, and. Then we hired a producer to produce it, right. and then we got all these incredible musicians. I had the privilege of tracking right. with uh, tracking the songs with them, and we've gone mm -hmm. through the whole process. Now, when it goes out, I I hope right. it's it's a blessing for people who hear it. Absolutely, to it. and that's it. This has really been sort of your own project, as you're yes. saying. You guys have produced you well. You hired a producer, yes. but really everything in mm -hmm. it has been all initiated. Right by the two of you, and yes. and I know it, it, it absolutely will be a blessing. I know your success in India will carry over right. here, and really, I think, carry the mantle that's been passed down from generation, mm -hmm. and you guys have been married nine years. Nine I years. wanted to point that out as we were talking about sort of the whole arranged yeah. marriage, and, and but I think coming together with the foundation of Christ and having, you know, really the influence of Christianity mm -hmm. heritage in both your families really does 
go a long way in setting up the foundation for the right priorities and then understanding and respecting what God wants to do mm -hmm. within each one of you right. and finding out how to move forward in that and your giftings. And she lucked out. Christina, you lucked out. <laughs> yes, He's really I, supportive of your I know. ministry. He's, and he's a great supporter. This and is, I'm so thankful to God that God gave me the right person. Yeah, it's yeah. exciting. And I'm yes. so glad that you came on our show because this is, you know, I think the message of surrender and I think mm -hmm. your voice and the heart and the passion that went into making this CD, um, it's something that needs to get out there. And you do sing in Indian? In the, uh, not, in the of, not in this one, not in this one. But your other ones are needed. Now, do you have those on your website? Um, I don't. I CDs? yet to get the pictures in okay. there. Yeah. Okay. But but the CD is also available on your website. Mm -hmm. And yes. that, why don't you give us that? www.christinapaul.com. Dot com. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having, and us. having us. It's just I'm so, so excited humble. to see where your next move is going to go. We're going to keep our eye on you because okay. this is going to be this is just the beginning, <laughs> just the beginning over here. So thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you for watching Deeper Living right here on Every Day with us. And again, this is Christina Paul, Surrender. And it is just fabulous. Beautiful, beautiful woman, beautiful testimony. You will be ministered to and delight in just this, the beautiful words and just divine impartation that this woman really moves in from the Lord. So thank you for joining us right here on Deeper Living. Mm -hmm.